Hello everyone, Lady De Winter here, and today we are in Rising World. Now, I'm doing something very dangerous, very, very dangerous. Um, yeah, I am basically putting legs on my bridge, on my castle. Now, I know that you guys are probably thinking, well, she hasn't worked on this in a long time. Why is she doing it now? Uh, because, why not? There we go now. So, so far, that's what I have in, in line, is that. I'm not sure what I'm going to do with this, I'm gonna, if I'm going to do any kind of a roof or anything on it. But I did kind of want to put legs under it because, let's face it, guys, it, it was kind of suspended against gravity, and gravity is kind of funny that way. I'm going to have to go down there and pick up all that stuff now. But I can fly in the game. I have been using fly mode quite a bit, so, you know. I know, probably not, you know, you guys are probably, oh, she's cheating, she's cheating. Not really. I mean, if uh, if it wasn't available for me to use, then it wouldn't be here for me to use, right? Okay. That just is hell-bent and determined it's going to fall down there, isn't it? Yes, it does. So, anyway, this is what I'm doing right now. I'm working on the castle a little bit. I got some ideas that I want to do to it. I'm just not sure how to go about doing it is part of my problem. Now, let's go to fly mode so we can go pick up all our blocks because, you know, they're kind of down here, and I kind of want them. Oh, there's one. Okay. But, uh, yeah. But here's the legs underneath the uh, bridge. I'll show them to you in just a second. Whoa, that's not what I wanted. Okay, that's not at all what I wanted. All right. Here is the legs underneath the bridge right there. So, now, I think those look okay. Um... It's not like they're going to tear the bridge down if they decide to take those out. So that's not such a bad thing right there. So, and that, that is already, you know, that's already got suspension and everything. So that's pretty good. I just want to make sure there was something holding the, the bridge up. I've been thinking about that a lot lately. And it seems to me like the bridge was floating in the air and it needed to be you know, attached to some legs. So here's some legs. And yeah. Now see, I can't put anything else under here. And that's the only bad thing about the way this bridge is built. So it really does not look like these legs are attached, even though they truly are. It just doesn't look like it. Because you can see all the way down. But we're going to pretend they're attached because there's no other way to build this because I built this as an angle. So, and it won't let me put the blocks back in. As you can see, there's the blocks right there. It won't let me put the blocks back in. So, that's the best we can do with that because of the way the game works. Oh, I didn't mean to do that. Now, I'm also thinking about doing something underneath here. Because, as you know, let me turn off fly. Okay, there we go. Uh, as you know, under here is where I was going to put a dungeon. I'm not sure if I'm still going to do that or if I'm going to do that down here hold on let me get this let me get down here to this um i'm so uh oh light light camera action okay if i was going to do that here oh i can't get down there my oh okay well that's gonna have to go then wow i didn't know that that was blocking the way down um yeah okay well that's gonna have to go then we're gonna have to put some uh um yeah some uh, things in there. Yes, some things. Some things. Yeah, look at that. Okay, so what we'll have to do is we'll have to put some of these here little puppies in. And yeah. No. Um, down like that maybe. I will get it. Just give me time, viewers. Just give me time. Okay, where is that going? Let's see, now how does that go like that? Okay, there we go. I think this is it. Yeah, that's it right there. Okay, now. So now I should be able to go down that stairway without bumping my head, although it's not the greatest clearance. Yeah, see, there we go. All right, now. What I was saying is I'm thinking about putting the dungeon down here. Uh, it's very 
scary and icky down here. The only problem is there is a way to get out of here. If they break out, they can get down this stairway and out this way. So, that is something I have been thinking a great deal about. Oh, I need to drink. Do I have any water with me? I have a little bit of water with me. So, I've got another canister though, I think. So anyway, that's where I'm at right now with that one. I'm trying to figure out how I would put a dungeon in here. So, um, yeah. I'm thinking it would have to go up like on this level right here. That's why we started clearing this out. Is this is going to this was going to be partially of the dungeon area. So And maybe just make, you know, all the way down to that first level. And then build like a doorway here that, you know, you would have to go through to get out. And there'd be like guards hanging around here waiting for them. So that's something I have been thinking about, viewers. That is something I have been seriously thinking about to do. And I don't have a pick with me right now or anything to, to dig with. But that's what I have been thinking about a great deal is making this area and a little bit down a dungeon. Now, as you can see, I'm going to have to fill that in with some dirt because that's starting to show grass and that means we're almost to the surface, which is not good. We don't want to be to the surface. So, but I don't know if you guys remember, but in the Three Musketeers, the movie, there was actually a way for them to get out of there. So... Now, I don't know if this, is this an outdoor wall or what? I'm going to have to see what this is. No. Okay. That's not an outdoor wall. So I could actually take this down a little bit. And yeah, okay, yeah. Oh, that one is, that one is. Okay, let's get that back. Can we get that back? No, we cannot get that back. Why can we not get that back? Okay, now, there we go. So we have to put the block in. Oh, my mouse pad. I forgot to lock my keyboard, guys, so you're going to have to give me a minute to lock my keyboard in place so that my stuff stops falling off of it. Um, yeah, my, my desk is wonky. I have to have a wrist pad in order to play the video games. So, all right, now here is what I was looking for. That's this block that we took out. And we have some of those, so we're going to just go ahead and put one right there. Just like that. Now, okay, now we're going to go over here and knock a few more bricks out of this out. Because I got some ideas for this area too. Um, yeah, okay. Oh, that's how bad, okay, that's not good. That's not going to be a good thing. Okay, I'm going to have to go get my pick. I don't have a choice. I'm going to have to go get my pick. I don't have my pick up here. And so, yeah. Okay. And I'm not going down the uh, walkway because that doesn't go anywhere near my base where you will find my tools. My base is down here. And I'm hoping I do not hurt myself because I really don't want to. But I really need to get down here. There we go. Okay, now. All right. My tools are in my base, so, you know, that's where I'm headed right now, is to go start working on... Hi, Smudge! How you doing, Smudge? No, I'm not going to attack you with a sledgehammer, Smudge. So, anyway, that's something else I plan on doing, is building a nice fence uh, here. So, um, what I plan on doing is I wanted to put another fence like this in, but I was going to make it the pillar like this, and then a, another thing like that. You'll see... But I wanted the horse to have an area to wander around in and stuff, and he doesn't have that. So I think I'm going to have to rethink this a little bit and give him this room out here to wander around in. So we will see. We will see how that's going to go. First of all, i got to get myself a crap load more stone. I do not have any more stone available to me. Okay, there's my pick. All right, I don't know what that is. Sledgehammer steel. Okay, we will take that one instead. I didn't know we had a sledgehammer steel. That is new to me. Okay. Um, what else were we going to need? I don't think... I might go ahead and take this. I'm not sure. Um, I don't think I'm going to need any of the rest of this stuff. Is that a steel pickaxe? No. 
I don't think I, oh, that's the steel pickaxe. Okay, we'll put this one away. All right, so here's how we're going to do this, viewers. We're going to go and start digging out the tunnel a little bit today. We got the legs on the cast, on the walkway from the castle. We're going to go start digging out the dungeon a little bit, I think. And then I think in our next video, we'll make a nice area for the horsey. Yes, I think that would be a good idea. If we come across here like this and over to here and then make like a walkway to there. Yeah, that I think might be a doable pro. Where am I going? Oh my God, I'm so brain dead today. So anyway, um, everything's been good. I know I haven't played Rising World in a while. And I'm sorry for that, but I have been busy with other games. I get in moods, guys, and it's just the fact that sometimes when I'm out of the mood to play a game, I just don't play it for a while. This particular game annoys me to, lately to an extent that everything is so hard to place. It really is. Everything has to be... at a certain, you know, angle or something, and you can't just build something really cool because of all the silly angles and stuff, which is kind of annoying in a way, but then again, I do understand it. Okay. There we go. And as you see, we're going to have to have a lot more stone. That's why another reason I'm kind of a mining a bit is because I'm out of, not out of stone, but I haven't got a whole lot left to work with. So, and as you see, this is already starting to become soil here. So I'm very concerned that this is going to be gone. So, but this is going to be the floor. I'm going to put cells down here. I'm going to put in a floor, I'm going to put cells in through here, and then build up that, that, cover that all up. So, yeah. All through down here is going to be cells and dungeon and, yeah. So, and that's what I had planned on doing. This was my great plan. Um, I don't know how well it's going to work out. I, like I said, I need a lot more stone, and I don't think I have the stone. I really don't believe I have the stone for this project. So that's why I'm kind of down here cut out a little bit here and there and because this also needs to be made a little bit wider so that you can walk through here easily. It was at first going to be just an escape tunnel. Then I got to thinking, wow, this would be a great place for the dungeon to go. So that's basically what I'm going to do. And it's going to take a while. And yeah, I kind of fell out of uh, of sync with building this. And I could build out this way a little bit too and put some cells up here on this side. That's a good idea. Let me get out that. Let's get this out. Because doing it that way is going to take forever. And this way is a lot faster. And could actually put cells over here too. I never thought about that. This goes under the mountain nicely too. So, so I think I can fit maybe three cells over here maybe. Let's see. Note one, two here and one, two here. And then maybe a few over here. Yeah. And then one level down we'll put in a few more cells and that should be enough I think to really do what we need to do. Now I need to go and get that bench that block bench and pull it in here for this project. I know where it's at. It's on that road that we built. Yeah. It's on the road. So, yeah. And it's nighttime, so that's going to make for fun. They don't have any uh, bad animal or bad creatures in here yet. Where's my roadway? Oh, there it is over there. 
Okay, well, I hurt myself. That's cute. Okay. But they don't have any bad creatures in here yet, so it's okay for me to be walking around out here at night. There, okay, now. And we'll go back over here, and we'll go in our little gateway here, and yeah. So, and of course I'm hungry and thirsty, and luckily I was smart enough to get plenty of water, because I knew I was gonna be, you know, down here quite a bit and yeah so I got food and water with me which is a good thing but I didn't have the common sense to bring a block bench with me which is my own stupidity I think I can wow there's room here for a few cells okay I think I can put the block bench right here for now I think this is the perfect place for the block bench to go yeah we'll put it right there okay now yeah. Okay, and I don't know how much stone I have. Oh, I've got pl pretty much. So I think what I'm going to do is make uh, the block material 27. I think that's what I used in here. Yeah, I, I think I did. 27. And we want block blocks. Yeah. So, now I wanted to get the max. What's the max? There we go, 64. Okay, now. All right, here we go. And we will start working on putting a floor in here. So, and see, the more we extend the floor, the more we can see where we're going with this. So, yeah, see, look at this. This is going to work out nicely. We'll put some cells in here, and this can be our dungeon. And the underneath of that pillar can be a storage room, I guess. I don't know. We'll think about that for a while. I haven't thought about that for a while. So we'll have to see where we can go with that. So. But, yeah. So, anyway, yeah, I haven't played Rising World in a while, guys. I've been kind of in the mood to play the shooter games, which a lot of people, a lot of you guys don't really enjoy the shooter games as much as I do, and I'm sorry for that. But I usually try to play what I'm in the mood to play so that I enjoy it. Because if I'm not enjoying myself, you guys are not going to enjoy it either. So, at least that's my philosophy on it. You know, I'm sure you guys don't want to hear me drone on playing a game that I'm not enjoying. So, so I try to play things I'm in the mood to play There we go. See, look at this now. This is a room over here, I think, for a couple of cells. Um, they're not going to be very big cells because, I mean, let's face it, they're prisoner cells. They don't have to be very big. Um, yeah, I need some more blocks. They don't have to be very big. So. So. And I need to eat some food. I have eight pieces of dirt. Can you believe that? And I've got some. Yeah, let's eat some tomatoes. There we go. All right. We ate a tomato. There we go. Okay. There. That pretty much does it there. Now let's get some more blocks going here and get this to the point where we can start figuring out exactly how we're going to do our cell. Um, yeah, I think I want to dig out this a little bit more. Oh, look at that. There's aluminum. Oh, well. Too bad. I'm not going to deal with that today. So, yeah, we're just going to build a floor here and, whoa, okay, we fell into our own hole. That was brilliant. So, I get a little over enthusiastic with that drill. I really do. It's kind of funny because uh, I, I tend to get really over enthusiastic with it. So, okay. Now, see, this needs to go back further this way. 
unless I'm going to do what I could do is I could do the cells across here make like a little area for the guards to sit and do the cells across the back that might actually be a better idea okay let us get this dug out just a little bit more Okay, now, let's get this dug out a little bit better. There we go, look at that, that's better. Yeah. Okay. Now, here we go. Look at this. We're getting there. We're getting there. So, unfortunately, we're already 21 minutes into this video, viewers. But we will be back with some more Rising World. Um, I am, like I said, I'm suddenly in the mood to play it, which is a good thing. I've got some ideas for building. I'm not going to get ridiculous with it. Um, I'm not a proficient builder in the game. I'm, I'm a decent builder, but I'm not a proficient builder. So, but we will see how it goes. I think it's going to work out okay. And it's 21 minutes, and I'm going to go ahead and at least finish this floor in this video. Um, yeah, I think I am. I hope I am. Yeah. <laughs> this is not easy either because the, the lighting and all for this game makes it very hard to see the block that I'm working with. So, but I think it's going to be okay. Um, I think I need to extend this floor from here just a little bit. And I'm probably going to have to do a wall here also, yeah. I think I'm going to have to do like a wall along here. So... We're going to be needing a lot of stone, but as I cut this all out, I will be getting a lot of stone. So, that will work out to our advantage, I do believe. I'm going to need a lot more stone, though. Am I going to spawn it in? I'm not exactly sure what I'm going to do. I might spawn it in. I might try mining it. It just depends on my mood. We will see. We will see. And there is, yeah. So, okay. Here we go. Here's one there, 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 there. Oh, gosh. This is so hard to see sometimes, guys. So hard to see sometimes. And I hope I'm not too far back from the mic. I hope you guys can hear me all right. Um, I know a lot of people have been saying they're having trouble hearing me with this microphone. And, again, I have to tell you, I can't do anything about that. Um... There's just no way, because of the room I am in is so huge. And so basically, you know, it's it's my living room, kitchen, great room. And this is the way my house is set up. And unfortunately, I can't do anything about that. It's not my house to change, if you know what I mean. So basically, I have to go with what design is already here. Now, I was allowed to put the porch on only because the landlord didn't want to see me fall and break my neck, but he also was not willing to pay for the porch. So, I put the porch on. Okay, let's see. And one, two, three, four, five, six, seven blocks right there. Yeah, and that would give me... Let's see. Let's go here and see... That would give me a nice walkway between the cells, and yeah, that will work. That will work nicely. Okay. And we're going to go ahead and put another row back here, because this is where our wall is going to set on. And yeah, so. So I'm slowly but surely, I, I am working on this, guys. I haven't given up on Rising World altogether. 
I am still playing Rising World. I'm just not really playing any one game a whole lot right now. And I apologize for that, but that's just the way it goes. Sometimes I just like to play games that I want to play. And that's that. Now, this side will have this dungeon here, and this side will have a dungeon over here. And maybe down lower here, I don't know. We'll have to think about that. I may wind up doing a wall all the way down here. I haven't decided how I want to do that. What's going to happen is I'll make the cells and get this area done, and then I'll see what speaks to me in the rest of it. If that makes any sense to you at all, you're a better person than I am. But that's the way I do things. So let's see. Um, yeah, we're going to go with another 64. Okay, now we are out of stone. So so there we go. So that's going to be the, the dungeon on this side. And then we will start to dig this out on this side. And we will get both sides to the point where we can have a decent dungeon area out of them. So... That, and it'll also give me the stone I need for the project. So that will work out nicely as well. So. We have two stacks of uh, stone here. So we're going to go like this here. And we're going to start um, fixing this out a little bit. Well, let me put one there. I don't know why. There we go. Okay, now. So, we're going to take some of this out because this is going to be boring. So. And so, basically, this is the way this is going to go. It's not going to be perfect because, like I said, I am not a perfect builder. But it'll be fun. It'll, it'll give the illusion of a big castle with a dungeon and... All that kind of stuff. And it gives me something else to build while waiting for more updates on the game. So, that it, it, it makes for a twofold plus plus because, like I said, gives me something else to work on while I'm waiting for another update. And uh, so, you know, I'm really hoping the next update is a substantial one because as much as I think the horses and the boats were all nice... They really don't help my gameplay. Um, my gameplay, I don't travel that much of a distance. I don't want to. Mainly because there's no real m m system to help you if you get lost without cords and all that stuff. And Yeah, there's a map, but it only goes so far. So. so there, look at that. So far we have this much of the dungeon worked on. I'm kind of happy with this, you know, I'm getting kind of, this is really kind of working out for me. I'm liking this. And if I like the project, that means I'll finish it. So, you know. We may have to cut a bunch of this away, though, because this is really, which is good, because God knows we'll need the stone for this project. So, yeah. Yeah. Uh-oh. That's soil. Why is that soil? Oh, that's soil. Okay. We're going to have to be very careful because our, our prisoners will be able to dig their way out of here if we're not careful. Yeah. Okay, see, that's dirt. So we have to be very careful that our prisoners cannot dig their way out of the dungeon, guys. That would be bad. That would be very, very, very bad. No digging your way out of the dungeon, Mr. Prisoners or Miss Prisoners, or whoever you are. Once I throw your butts down here, you gotta stay. Okay. So there we go. Okay, guys, we're 29 minutes into the video. I want to thank you for watching. This is Lady DeWinter reminding you that you're never too old to game. I will be back soon with another Rising World video. Until then, stay cool. Bye-bye for now.